we work in the area of design of lighter than air systems. These systems derive their lift principally by the force of buoyancy. One particular type of uh, lighter than air system is a tethered aerostat, which is nothing but an aerodynamically shaped balloon with a tether or a rope that attaches it to the ground. One problem that uh, we normally face in tethered aerostats is, uh, you know, what happens if uh, the tether or the rope breaks for some reason. In that case, we will have a freely drifting balloon and that balloon can actually go in undesirable areas. So recently we tested this uh, device in the Gymkhana ground of IIT Bombay on aerostat system. We were gifted two envelopes of uh, spherical shape by Mr. Kurt Westergaard who runs digital design systems, a company in uh, Falls Church. Those uh, balloons actually had some damages, so we patched them up and made them working. So we took uh, these balloons with us to the Gymkhana ground. In the early hours, when the winds are little bit less, we did the testing of this device. So first we filled these balloons with the hydrogen gas and uh, tested that they are properly attached. We mounted a black colored horizontal platform on which we had attached the payload recovery device inside a transparent white tiffin box. The payload recovery device circuit was placed inside this box which was mounted on the platform. First we tested the working of this circuit. We then tried to balance it. Hydrogen gives very good buoyancy so therefore even when the envelope was filled almost two-thirds we found that it needed a lot of ballasting to maintain uh, less vertical force. So to take care of this problem we filled the remaining part of the balloon with ambient air using an electrical blower. With that the envelope had a nice spherical shape and it had uh, a control on the buoyancy so the balloon when attached was slowly rising and giving sufficient tension on the tension sensing device. Whenever there is a loss of tension, it switches on the push button and it sends a signal to a device. There is a programmable delay circuit on the device which allows us to program the delay according to the weather conditions. It is like this. If it is lost, it presses this switch which activates the device. The PRD box contains a series of three lights which actually denote whether the circuit is active or not. Now the Nichrome wire is mounted on a circular wooden frame which gives us an opportunity to actually change or uh, predetermine the geometry and size of the slit that is to be created. When we installed this device back on the balloon and launched in the first launch we realized that the device did not function. That is because there was a breakage in the circuit. This we realized later when we did uh, investigation after the malfunction of the device. So what happened is that the balloon went up when tether was cut. It rose to a sufficient height and then we realized the device is not functioning. So we brought it down slowly using the emergency tethers which were attached onto the side of the balloon. We then corrected the problem in the circuit repaired it, ensured that it is working properly and uh, launched the balloon once again. This time when the tether was cut, the balloon rose up nicely, the device got activated. However, when the gas was coming out from the hole, it was hydrogen and air mixture and because there was some sparking, the gas caught fire and the payload on the balloon came down at a very high speed. So we realized that we probably cannot use this system with hydrogen gas. So the next day morning we repeated the test but this time we used helium instead of hydrogen. With helium 
the device worked beautifully we actually had two launches one in which we put a 8 second delay after the tether loss of tension is detected the balloon went up the device functioned and the hole was created and the balloon came down very slowly the last test that we did was with a delay of 24 seconds so the whole system worked beautifully and we got extremely good results of a situation in which the system got activated after the detection of loss of tension and brought down the payload safely.